Yes, I'm, I'm here right at the corner of the high school. You can see, uh, first, if we reference here, Larry, you can see officers on scene uh, having this area shut down leading into uh, the high school here. Lots of, of uh, first responders, as you might imagine. And of course, lots of parents are starting to arrive here. I, I have these parents that I just uh, kind of walked up with you as they started to let us down the block. Uh, thank you for speaking with me. I know it's a really fluid situation. Uh, you have a child at the school? Yes, uh, Legend Williams. Okay, and, and tell me, you've had a chance to talk to him by phone? Yes, that's how we found out about the active shooting. He called us and notified us that there was something going on at the school. The school didn't notify us at all. We still haven't gotten a text message or a call from the school about the incident. I know a parent never wants to be on the receiving end of that. Uh, Dad, maybe tell me how you were feeling about this. I know you were frustrated walking down here. You talked about some of the security measures that are already in place. At the school. I did. I did. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I've never seen this many Dallas PD here. I, and it's, around this area until something bad happens. You had mentioned, though, that there are metal detectors. Metal de here. They have metal detectors, wands, police, security. They even changed the policy to where you couldn't have dark backpacks. You have to have a clear one. But yet, a gun is in that school. Um, I know you guys are relieved, obviously, to hear your, your son's okay. How does he sound? I know that this has to be traumatizing for both you and him and everybody involved. For sure. When I talked to him on the phone, he definitely sounded really nervous and concerned, um, eager to try to get out of the building as fast as possible. But, of course, the teachers and the police were not letting them out. So hopefully, you know, we can when we get him out here, we can get him calm and get his mental on track because this is definitely going to be traumatizing for a lot of these students. I bet. Thank you both for speaking with me. Thank I, you. Uh, my thoughts are with you all as well. And uh, Larry, I know it's a little challenging here, but maybe if we can spin around, you can get a perspective here and see just how many parents are beginning to line up here. Uh, the district, of course, um, you know, is, is they are sending um, notifications on, on social media, on Facebook. Um, we got a message from the district a short time ago that says all students and team members are safe at Wilmer Hutchins High School as we have initiated our safety protocol. They say police are on site to ensure uh, that school remains secure. And at this time, though, they are asking for everyone to refrain from coming to the campus uh, as they limit access inside. They say that parents will receive a letter with more details. But again, as you can imagine, guys, um, hearing that your uh, kiddo is at a school uh, where there has been uh, uh, an apparent shooting is distressing. And, and I'm sure getting this message as is apparent from seeing the parents we see arrive here at the edge of the school, that parents aren't necessarily going to uh, listen to those instructions as they want to be able to put hands on their child, make sure that they are okay, and of course take them away from uh, no doubt what has become a traumatic situation here at the school this morning.